10 again with a new video. This time I am going to design a concrete beam and I shall be using this book PCA notes on ACI 31808 building code requirements for structural concrete. First I will design a beam for flexure. Let's go to example 7.1. Now we have to design a rectangular beam with tension reinforcement only. <clears throat> In this example, we have to select a rectangular beam size and required reinforcement AS to carry service load moment MD, which is equal to 56 feet keep, and ML, which is equal to 35 keep feet. And we have to select reinforcement to control flexure cracking. F dash C here is 4000 psi, which is a normal weight concrete, and F Y is equal to 60,000 psi. Now, to illustrate a complete design procedure, of course, uh, we have to follow that, and the 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 beam will be computed using the maximum reinforcement permitted for tension control flexure reinforcement uh, flexure member that means rho t and as per the table calculated here the table 6.1 when f dash c is equals to 4000 psi and beta 1 is equals to 0 0.85 and if we are using grade 60 then rho t comes out to be 0 0.01806 Now here, the same value is used, and using this value, the ultimate moment is calculated first, and then the effective depth is calculated, which comes out to be 13.4, and minimum depth required will be 13.4 plus 2.5, which is equal to 15.9 overall depth of the beam say 16 inch. This 2.5 is there for clear cover and the die of the bar. So let's go and check if we can do this design in a STAD and let us see what the results are coming from a STAD. What I have done so far, I designed, I, I modeled a 10 foot beam as you can see over here and to calculate the load on this beam what I did I assume that the length of this beam will be 10 feet dead load moment is 56 key feet so I calculated the uniformly distributed load dead load similarly for life load moment the value of life load moment is given as 35 key feet so I calculated the life load applicable on this beam which comes out to be 2.8. I applied these loads here very simple. For my dead load 4.48 keep per running foot for live load 2.8 per running foot and then I use the combination as per the code 1.2 D plus 1.6 life. For the member properties, I use a six, 10 by 16 beam of concrete, very simple thing. Now let us analyze So, STAD has designed this beam. Here, the length of this beam is 10 feet. FY is 60,000 psi. FC, 4,000 psi. Size of the beam is 10 by 16. That means it's reading correctly. Level, height, bars, 
from to and whether any anchor yes or no here there is only one layer of beam oh, oh sorry on one only one layer of concrete sorry i am again there is only one layer of reinforcement and this reinforcement is at 2.75 inch from the bottom there are two number 10 bars and this is the section shown no error that means our calculation is correct if we click on this beam and see the result over here so there are two number 10 bars and the area of these two bars are 2.63 from one end to another end as per calculation the reinforcement was Two point four. So area of steel required was two point four square inch, and area of steel provided by stad is two point six three inch. That means stad is giving a little more conservative result, and we can rely on the results of stad. Thank you very much. hope you will like my videos if you like my videos please give a like and uh, please do not forget to subscribe my channel i will be loading much more videos in this uh, design of steel and concrete structures hopefully in future thank you bye